this is not the kind of videos that I do but in this situation I feel like I cannot keep quiet I cannot keep quiet to see such an inhumane act going on in the United States of America someone might say that you're not an American so you cannot talk about America's problem let me tell you something the brother who just died looks like me the brother who just died could be my uncle my father my grandfather so nothing will stop me from speaking i have a message to all the african diaspora because i feel like i cannot keep this within me those who have ears should listen to me because i feel like when at all is this going to stop this is what I call the black genocide. I mean, it's not the first time you are hearing that a policeman has shot a black person. This is not the first. And I feel like this is not going to stop anytime soon. I mean, what happened to George is really disturbing. Like, I cannot share this video with you guys. Like, I don't think this can be on my YouTube channel because... I couldn't watch the video myself to see a fellow black man saying that I cannot breathe, I cannot breathe, and this gentleman doesn't even care. Why am I even calling him a gentleman? This devil doesn't even care. With a knee on someone's neck. Like sometimes I even don't understand do we have human beings on this head at all? Like I just don't get it. We need justice for George. But apart from that, I want to tell my fellow brothers and sisters, especially African Americans, that you've got a choice. I mean, you've been shouting Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, but these people are not listening. This is why I've been saying that the Africans in the diaspora has been in pandemic for 400 years. I mean, like when I hear people saying that, oh, coronavirus, lockdown, 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 I, I laugh because my fellow brothers and sisters living in America or living in the Caribbean, whatever, wherever you are in the diaspora, you have been in a pandemic for 400 years and you know who the virus is the virus is the oppressor when you go to the park to even play the virus will be there to call the police that these people don't want to be on a lockdown come and arrest them if you are doing your small gathering barbecue the virus will come and start calling the police that these people refuse to be on a lockdown. The virus that you guys have been going through for the past 400 years is the oppressor. And I just want to come in here and tell you that, my brothers and sisters, there is another option. I mean, most of you think that Africans hate you. No. Telling you about the love. Exactly. Yes. Did not tell you that they love me. They love Do you, you love so me? We, we love, love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love me? Yeah, I love you. Love you you yeah, see, I, I told everyone. you. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> so you came to see her? Yes. Wow. It's my one and only one. One and only. The best in the world. I love you so much and Edge and the family. Yeah. The family. Yes. This they is are amazing. Yeah, you they see? Are my family so, also. Which means which means they've been lying to them for so long. You Listen. See? Yes, you see? Lying. What did you say? 
Lying for what? So long. You Lying see? for so long. Everyone loved you. The, the, this break between yeah. uh, Caribbeans, yeah. British, yeah. Americans yeah. and Africans, yeah. it doesn't exist. You see? It doesn't exist. It's only perpetrated when you're in the West. Why? Because you've got no time to make friends. All you do is work, work, work. Oh, yeah. You've got no time to actually make connection with people. Here you sit down, you talk, you connect. You've got time. You've got a life. This is what you have here, is a life. You have a social life. Jenny, you know what? I'm calling you Jenny, Juliet. So, <laughs> it's all right. Tell them something, tell them yeah. something. You know, there are a lot of like, let's, let's talk about the whole black diaspora yeah. who are looking forward to move back to the continent. Or those of them who don't want to move to the continent at all, your mm -hmm. final message for that. My final message is come for a visit. Come and see for yourself. It's like the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Come and eat this pudding. Yeah. Come and eat African pudding. You eat fufu. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Eat wow. egg bay. Yeah. Wow. Come and eat wow. good food. Wow. Yeah. Come on. You have to say something. Yeah. Say something. Yeah. To say something. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Tell well, people to come. To all the um, uh -huh. viewers, you know. And let them know that here in Gambia, you live see? a free life. Yes. You know, we're free. We have friends come around. You know, here, this is the life. Yes. You know, this is the life. And this is the life that I want people to come back yes. and see, experience it. You know, you could live in a compound like this for a lot less than you could live in a one bedroom flat in England. See? You know, and here you're free. Like now, I could walk anywhere. I don't have to worry about nothing. So, yeah, Safe. I want the people in the diaspora to come home. Come back home to Africa, visit that's right, it. That's right. You know, don't listen to the negative press. No. Because that's all they're doing. It's trying to stop you from come back here. Yeah. Up until today, presently, Africa is the most resourceful continent in the whole world. Every yeah. We don't hate you. Let's do away with that narrative and come together as one and support each other. Help build each other. Because Marcus Garvey said that Africa is for Africans. Both Africans at home and Africans abroad. And remember that there's an African proverb which says that home is not where you live, but home is where you belong. Come back home. Imagine if all black celebrities around the world come together and say that let's put our world together and go build our motherland let's build africa together i mean my name is wadamaya if you don't know me my name is wadamaya an african vlogger who travels around africa to promote africa in a positive light if you want that peaceful life if you want that quality of life if you want that life that you can go out anytime to party without a virus coming to tell you that, go and stay in your room, Africa is calling. We can build Africa together and live in harmony. I've traveled and I've seen my fellow African brothers and sisters from the diaspora living their best of life on the continent. Africa is not perfect. I'm not saying that this place is perfect. But together, we can make Africa the perfect place to be. And during my journeys in Africa, I've discovered the beauty. Even the people who are telling you not to visit the continent are here. So what is keeping you from visiting, living, investing, eating. What do you what do you want to do? Swimming in the continent. Like I get sad. Like you know, it's not like I don't care. Like I get so sad to see my fellow brothers going through this kind of racism in the united states or racism in the diaspora because i have lived in china i lived in china for six years i mean when you live in the diaspora you feel so comfortable i mean i live my best life in china but at some point in time they remind you that 
this place is not your home this is a message coming from my heart no script attached I just want to talk to my fellow brothers and sisters come back home I know some of you might ask that when I come back home, which African country? No, just visit. And when you feel comfortable and you want to move, you can move. Like, whatever that is happening, I feel like America is not for black people. Because this keeps on happening and happening and happening. It keeps on happening. Like, it's not the first one. On behalf of all Africans living in Africa, our deepest condolence to the family of George. We sympathize with you. Stay strong. I mean, we've been through a lot. 400 years of slavery. They tried to beat us. They hate on us. But there's one thing they can never do to us, to break us. I just want to urge and encourage all Africans around the globe, unite as one, love one another, stop the self-hate, and let's go build our motherland together. Divided, we fall. Together, we stand. Pamoja Milele.